viewers, I'm bringing to you never ever before seen ever, ever ever, never before seen ever, don't forget that, never ever before seen real life headlines on real life, that's how it is, I am, I'm telling you, real life headlines, don't get me wrong, this is the first time ever, let me start, I've got all this information in front of me, let me start, let's start with sports, we will start with sports, 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 because they start with real life news. They start with, oh, what's going on in real life? But here at G Public News, we are going to start from the back. Backwards, because we are backwards. Well, no, not, we, we, we are not backwards, please. You understand what I'm saying? Here we go. Real life news. We are going to start off with sports. It was stated, excuse me, it was stated that no team sports were allowed. You know, this is the uh, lockdown happening, or is it unlock? Something or the other, it's the unlock or the lockdown, whatever it is, we're still not allowed to go out that easily in a crowd. And uh, this, this brings me to say, why in... <coughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but after joining Kafandra, my accent seems to be moving from one one edge to the other edge. I don't know what edge I'm talking about, but I've had a late la night last night, so please excuse me. <coughs> please excuse me. Okay, uh, the news. What was I talking about? The news? No, what was... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, People out there, please understand that it's called physical distancing. Social distancing was when, in, during the initial lockdown, they had asked even families, they had asked the families to stay apart, stay in their own houses. They had literally said the families can stick together, right? They don't need to socially distance. The families can stick together, yes, uh, uh, but they cannot be socially active with. Their mates, their friends, even relatives staying far away. That is what it means when I say socially distant. But now, because people are meeting randomly together, it's known as physical distance. I hope people get to um, know the difference and apply it in that way. Okay, now, uh, first, uh, in this city, it was stated that no team sports were allowed. But running, walking, even Malcolm was to be allowed, along with all the other individual sports such as badminton and uh, tennis, I guess tennis as well. Um, but when, the other day, you know, the other day, you get to see all these runners uh, running across, they're taking their masks off, they're saying, hey, we can't run with masks, we have to take them off. That's all okay, you know, if you keep yourselves physically distant. But, but, what I'm saying here is that uh, when you group up together before a run, you're grouping up together before a run, what do you call that then, without the masks? You're, you're basically shoulder to shoulder with, with each other. What do you call that then? I just, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm just saying that it's one rule for one person and another rule for others. On to football. Did you know? Did you know? that FIFA from next season um, is going to change the handball rule. Handball now will be only from the deltoid down. You see, including the biceps and the triceps, it will only be from the deltoid down. That's, that's, that's handball. So basically you can go around and if you can do this, the ball will hit you here and you can say, hey, it's not handball. Because it's in the rule, it's not animal. Can you believe that? Let me tell you, the Katie's LLC members, we are still sticking to the old rules, just like the kickoff rule. We are sticking to the old rules. There's no reason why. There is no reason why we need to change. And as you can see, I'm, I'm really, me at the public news, I'm really, really becoming a hard and fast member of uh, of Kafandra. I hope they increase my pay. Yes. Anyway, let's carry on. So that's the new animal rule. 
we're not changing. Kafanra is not changing it. And uh, uh, <laughs> finally, for the last bit of sports news is uh, all about spit, or in Marathi, as they say, tumki. Yeah, all about spit. Uh, they've said that they're going to outlaw spit. Um, it can't be used anymore in cricket. Let me ask one question. Why in the first place was spit used anyway in cricket? Isn't that just disgusting? What happened? It's taking too long. Oh, well, okay, okay. So um, that's it for me. Uh, <laughs> real life headlines. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not much, you know, it's not much, but I hope you enjoyed it. But now, um, I'm sorry we can't give you real life, you know, news, politics. Anyway, it's all about news and politics and religion and all that crap. But anyway, what we have here today is uh, something even better. I'm sure you heard over the past uh, uh, couple of months, I think, over the past couple of months. You did hear, I hope. I hope you heard. You should have heard. If you didn't, you hear it now. That uh, four directors were appointed at TZ and here they are. Call them. Call them. Call Guinness Book now. Call them. That is the best rainbow ever. Who is better? Who can get it better? Main bolunga. Main sab ko bolunga. Mere terrace pe bahut badhiya rainbow hai. World ka badhiya rainbow hai. Dekho, dekho mera rainbow. Dekho arrows. Dekhe kya arrows? Mera rainbow hai. Mera, mera rainbow. Mera rainbow hai. Oh, yeah. As you can see, as you can see here, we have got uh, Mr. Pikul in Amda. Sorry, sorry. And uh, <coughs> as you can see here, we've got Mr. Pikul in Amda over here. We've got Mr. Matthew up to the top left. Uh, we've got uh, Mr. Ajay Sandhi, top right over there, over there with you. Yeah. And then to here, yeah, over here to my right, we've got uh, Abbey Misha. And we've got a few questions for that. Uh, let's see, let's start. Eh? Uh, let me first say greetings, greetings to all of you. Eh? Hello, all at the yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Hello, Hello viewers. viewers. Hello, viewers. Hello, director. How's everyone doing? Hello, Mr. Presenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, directors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Very good. Okay, fine. Uh, what? Thank you, thank you. What do you think about your new rules? Uh, as directors. Hey, who wants to speak up first? Mr. Mishra, why don't you go first? Albert, Mr. Matthews, really? would you like to go first? Albert, yeah, that's, 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 that's uh, pretty bad. Uh, no problem, I'll decide. I'll decide. Let me start off with, let's say, uh, let me start off with you, Sparky. <laughs> sorry, 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 Sparky. You, 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 let me start off with you. Well, being a director is, is not easy. You have to walk the talk. And that's always um, a tough part because you've been given a position of responsibility and you have to uh, do the best you can. And it's not easy all the time. But um, it's a great opportunity. And uh, for me, so, it is definitely about helping so, that yeah. run more smoothly. Uh, we all know that Aju has been, uh, or Mr. Sanji has been handling all the duties uh, for a long time now and uh, he's been taking all of that uh, care of all of that by himself a lot of load on his shoulders so it's better that uh, all of us directors uh, delegate those duties and uh, help him out as much as possible and try to uh, help the things run as smoothly as we can it also opens up a new communication channel yes. I thank Kofendra for appointing me as one of the board of directors it is an exciting and challenging job which I truly am enjoying the KTZLC surely is going to be a very surprising, unique and exciting season. Our role as a director is to assist Kafendra with the smooth functioning of the KTZLC and to see that we, the members, follow the discipline and the RNR set so that we all can make the season enjoyable. Hope to do my job as a director to its fullest. Thank you. Thank you. I think the board of directors will perform a very crucial function in KTZLC 13. We will try our best to support Kafandra AI in the administrative 
in the administrative side of things and right. whenever possible we will also try to be a link between players and Kapandri AI. Yes, now to the viewer, it has come to my attention, it has, don't make no mistake, it has come to my attention that all four of you have each other as uh, on speed dial. Yes, uh, that, that might be okay with you people, but what I've also come to know, what I've also come to understand is, you've set your wives, or let's say girlfriends and wives, on uh, under different names. Mr. Kulinanda, yes you, have found out that you've set your wife, girlfriend's name as, wait for it, prosecutoress, that's it. A lady prosecutor, really, and uh, Mr. Sangvi, your wife's name has been set as prison guard. I have it. I have the data here. You have it. Well, uh, let me see, Mr. Matthew, demoness, really, and Mr. Mishra, a fallen name is Nakabandi, really, Mr. Mishra. This, this is inexcusable. <coughs> this is totally inexcusable. It is, it is, it is horrible that such people, Kapandra, the, the, the ethos, it is yeah. inexcusable. Why? Mm -hmm. what, what are you guys talking about? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. what, what uh, who, are you, who are you fighting? Yes, I am taking this interview. What, what's, hey, yeah. what's going on? What? Felicity. Felicity is <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope you like the Tea Public News. He's really getting involved with uh, Kefandra and all, all its rules, right? And uh, uh, I just want to talk to you uh, a little bit more about the KTZLC and what's going to happen there. Please understand, please understand people, that this is a very important message to all of you out there. The young, uh, the medium I should say, the middle old, middle aged, middle aged, it can't be right, so you know what I'm saying. The young to the old, it's for all of you out there. Um, I have absolutely, I think I've got, there's going to be no problem at all with the very young and the players I've been coaching for a long time since they were little ones. Uh, there's going to be no problem there. The problem I might be facing, and I hope not, the problem I might be facing uh, during the season, because this, I'm telling you people, this season is going to be very intense, because as you know, as I've, I've mentioned before, I'm going to be coaching and refereeing during the game and my coaching and refereeing style well my refereeing style you know but my coaching style yeah it's going to be really tough on you people you have to follow the letter of the law uh, how to play in that formation uh, how the strategy has been set for uh, for example uh, I haven't mentioned this before but I'll mention it now if if say um, fiery dragons were to play uh, have uh, all the players have confirmed and they're, and, the, and uh, they're all available to play maybe they're available to play with say a couple of substitutes maybe not but they're all available to play and let's say other black thunder or mutant rhinos they're all available to play as well so um, i'm going to approach fairy dragon i'm going to tell them hey i think you guys should work on the 442 442 attacking system and that's going to happen if I look at if I look at Black Thunder Mutant Rhinos there, everyone would think, oh man, they're not they're not good enough to compete against there. But that's not the case, guys. If I feel they're good enough to compete, I'm going to tell them, hey, you guys have to play four for two attacking as well, and you have to play to that system. What I do is I'll I'll set the teams up to play four for two attacking. Remember, the focus is on attacking and how to get into a good attacking position from the back. You have to understand that that is important. At the same time, what's going to happen is, uh, let's just say, for example, we've got a really hot shot striker playing for Fiery Dragons. Um, uh, let's say it's a Sarab Jongle. Sarab Jongle is playing for the Fiery Dragons, and um, um, I have, in the, you know, uh, you know, in that uh, thing which I put up on the on the website about uh, the, the person, his profile images up there, his uh, individual talents. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that up so that the opposition player, the central defenders or the central midfielders from this team will look at the strikers, say, look at Saurabh Jungle and say, hey, how, how, what, what's this guy good at? 
Is he good at this? Is he good at that? And then I'm going to ask, you know, the, a couple of days before uh, what, lead up to the match, I might meet the central defender. I'll call him up and say, hey, or, or I'll meet him during the team talk. I'll meet him and I'll say, hey, you know, um, you're playing in central defense. You know your individual duties and responsibilities. But do you know what's going to happen to you if Saurabh Jangle gets the ball there or Saurabh Jangle is moving around with the ball in front of you? Do you know what his weaknesses and strengths are? If he gives the answer to me that, oh, I don't know, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really screw him up. I'm going to screw him up bad. And, you know, and not in that sense. I'm going to really get angry with him. That's what I'm going to do because he's supposed to know. So then what I'll tell him, I'll say, okay, fine. Next time you better read up on that. But um, uh, you, sh you have to know. You see what I'm going to do is I'm not going to coach him. I'm not going to coach him in a way that, oh, I'm coaching Black Thunder or I'm coaching uh, Mutant Rhinos against Fiery Dragons. No, no, no. I'll be coaching Fiery Dragons or, sorry, I'll be coaching Mutant Rhinos or Black Thunder. That player in that team for that position against that one player. So I'll say, look, you have to remember that Sarah Jogme is good with his left foot. If he's on his left foot, make sure you take it on his right, maybe. Maybe there's a chance that he won't be able to connect with his right foot. I'll tell him that. But I won't say, hey, I know Sarah Jongle. I know him. I know I've been his coach as well. Yeah, so I know, you know, I know he's 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 not feeling too well today. So you know, press on him. I'm not gonna say stuff like that. You see, so that's how it's gonna work. It's very important you people understand about how this is going to work. I'll carry on with a few more videos to try and explain to you. If I haven't been clear right now, I'll try and be clear next time. There's one more thing I want to tell you people, what I started off with and then I digressed and moved over here and I'll go back to that now. About the age factor, uh, I think uh, the problem I'll be having with probably is the uh, older set of players. There are one or two players who are in that category who I have no problems with. They really, really trust me and will listen to me. But there are some players out there who have got the feeling that uh, the ego is a little too large. So listen, because I want all the other players around to enjoy themselves, I'm not going to fret around with you. I'm not going to worry about you too much. And at the same time, you just listen, learn and carry on. You listen, you think you don't have to learn. I have no worries. As long as you don't mess with me, you'll be able to enjoy yourself in the KTZLC. Remember one thing here, guys. You mess around with me and you're out. There's no other option because I have to tell this to you straight, guys. If I'm out, then everything is over. You better understand that. And you guys with the big ego, the large ego, you guys keep it to yourself. Remember, it's my ego which is the big, biggest ego and I've told you guys that a thousand times. For this to work, it's my ego which is the biggest ego. I'll allow you guys to have your runabout and do whatever you want. But once it goes against the ethos, once it goes against how I've told you to play, remember guys, that's it. So, so I will tell you right now people, I know there are some people, I have some names in my head. I'm not going to let it affect me. I'm not even going to let it affect me when the season starts. No, 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 that's your problem if you're going to let it, let it affect me. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to focus on the people who believe that what they're learning from me is very important, that they're going to, we're, we're leading up to the KTZLC 14 or maybe the knockout tournaments where I'll allow the teams to um, try and set up the strategy themselves. Next season, it won't be the KTZLC 14. I might revert it back to the TZLC 14 because... I'm planning that you guys will start taking care of yourselves. You remember what I said in that uh, letter? I said so. That is what I said so. So guys, don't get on the bad side of me, please. And this is me saying, signing off from the news bulletin number three. Thank you. Salagashle. And goodbye.